What is so special about gold's properties? And why do so many of our devices use gold? Well, first, gold is conductive. It's extremely efficient at carrying heat and electricity. Silver and copper work pretty well too. Actually, they're even more conductive. But unlike gold, they tarnish. And that brings us to gold's next important property. It is one of the least reactive elements. It doesn't react with oxygen, doesn't corrode or rust. And many of our everyday electronics tend to short circuit if the wiring in them becomes tarnished. So gold's ability to remain rust free is crucial and pretty unique. Gold is also highly malleable, incredibly ductile. Just one ounce of gold can be flattened out to a nine meter square sheet or drawn into an 80 kilometer long wire. And even after being drastically reshaped, gold still conducts electricity. Plus, as we saw in episode one, gold reflects light and thermal radiation, and that makes it a very useful coating in extreme environments like Mars, and in everyday environments too, like car engines. And finally, gold is perfectly compatible with the human body. Its non-reactive qualities make it useful as a material for implants and innovations. You're gonna hear a bit more on that in episode four. But lots of metals are used because they're conductive, because they're non-corrosive, because they're malleable, ductile, reflective, or biocompatible. But gold is useful because it's all of those things at once.